Alright, so today we're going to be doing a uh, setup, disassembly, and assembly on uh, three of our cold blue heads. So we're going to start with the uh, PL500 cold blue head, and we're going to do um, proper setup. So the first thing you always want to do uh, is understand how the stroke works. So the stroke counterclockwise is all the way open so it lifts it up and then clockwise brings it down closed to where it meets the armature um, so when you're doing your setup you're going to bring it so it's all the way clockwise closed and then I like to use the uh, flathead screwdriver point right there is my reference and so if this is closed you're going to bring it into operational range so operational range is going to be the quarter turn is the start of your operation range and then half a turn is the end so quarter turn to half a turn is your operational range uh, if you gotta uh, operate this head anywhere outside that something's wrong so that's your sweet spot right there and that's just for fine tuning so you go quarter turn half a turn that's your operational range uh, and it's also important to note that uh, when you buy one of these new you'll want to do that so you don't just pull it out of the box and uh, assume that it's set up ready to go so you'll want to bring it down get your quarter turn half a turn and then just dial it in somewhere in there, whatever works best for you. <clears throat> so the next thing we're going to go over is the uh, EDL 500. And it's the same principle across all the guns, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. So on this one here, it has a set screw that um, you have to loosen. And you'll notice that it has a dot and a dot so that's closed and then this is your uh, operation range here where you see these dots on the side so right now we're closed but I loosen the set screw so basically what that means is is we can hold the set screw and we can adjust down the uh, the stroke once you get it where it's all the way closed, and you notice I have this tool in here holding the set screw in position. I'm going to make sure it's all the way closed, and then I'm going to tighten it down. So now that should be all the way closed. You can check by taking the tool out, and if you turn it, and this dot here moves a little bit more, then you didn't have it all the way closed. So you'd have to go back in again loose unlock the screw and then torque it down just a little bit more and then you tighten it back check it and if it doesn't move you're good to go that's all the way closed and you can open it up I like to just put it in the middle for the beginning and then you can fine-tune it from there so that's proper setup on the DDL this is the DLK 400 series and uh, again it's going to be very similar to the first two this one's got a ratchet style stroke just like the PL500 so you can bring it all the way down clockwise I'm going to use my uh, flat tip screwdriver point there as my reference so I'm just going to bring it like this and then there's quarter turn half turn so I'll just put it in the middle. That's my starting point for my uh, adjustment, fine-tuning. So that's basically it for uh, setting up the heads. Uh, now we're going to go into disassembly. We're going to go back to the uh, PL500. So for the PL500, the first thing you always want to do with uh, uh, before you start disassembling this, and this is on any head, is you want to back the stroke off. So we're going to go counterclockwise. And we're going to back it all the way off till it stops and then we're going to bring it back a couple clicks 
And the reason we do that is so it doesn't bind on you when you go to install it. Uh, so all the way open, counterclockwise, and then bring it back a couple clicks. Once we do that, we can go ahead and pull the stroke adjustment. If you're holding one of these heads in, in the vise, you never grip on the on the coil because you'll damage it. So grip down here on the armature housing or up top on the stroke housing, but never here in the middle. You'll damage the coil. So we're going to take the stroke out. Now we can uh, go to the other side and we can take the uh, nozzle and the armature off. And there we have the uh, module disassembled and this would be for if you wanted to clean it or if you got a clog or if you're just replacing maybe a component or whatever. So to reassemble it, you go in the same order, reverse. So we're gonna put our armature back. And this is important. If you, if you were to uh, put the stroke in first and then put this in, you're gonna damage something because what happens inside is this will be pressed up against the armature and you'll end up damaging either, either one or the other or both. So. You always want to put your armature in first and go ahead and tighten your nozzle all the way down. Make sure that's snug. Now you can put your stroke in. Before you put your stroke in though, you always want to double check. Make sure it's still all the way open. If somebody comes behind you and plays with it, turns it down on you, then you could possibly damage something when, something when you uh, Tighten this down. So make sure it's still backed off. You can torque it down. And then we're going to bring it back into our operational range. So all the way there. Quarter turn, half turn, and then right in the middle. Now we're going to do the same thing for the DDL. And again, it's the same as all the other heads. You start with the stroke. I'm gonna grip it right here. Oh, before, on this one, if it's got one of these uh, flaps, you wanna take that out. And to take the stroke out, you gotta close it first, line your dots. Put your uh, hex tool in so you can uh, unlock the set screw. Unlock the set screw. Now you can turn this out. There's the stroke adjustment. I can switch to the, uh, the nozzle. It's going to be our 7 millimeter ratchet works best on these because they're so small. <clears throat> the nozzle, there's our armature. So, again, for assembly, we're going to put the armature in first, nozzle second. Once we get that snug, go ahead and put the stroke back in. On these uh, DDLs specifically, you're going to have to bring it down 
almost to closed before you can get it to where you can stick the tool in. Because right now it's, it's too high, you can't really get it in. Actually, I might go, I got it right there. Okay. So you get your tool in there to hold the set screw in place, and then you go ahead and tighten it down. So there it feels snug. I'm going to tighten it down and then I'm going to check it. I got a little bit more I could do there. So I'm going to bring it back, unlock it. I'm just going to snug it. Now it feels nice and tight. So bring it back right in the middle of the dots. And that's going to be my starting point. So when you go to fire this in production, if you need a little more, a little less, you got room either way to fine tune. You should never have to go like way past the dots or anything like that. If you do, there's something going on. You've got damage somewhere on one of the components. Somebody probably improperly set it up and damaged either the armature or the stroke or even both. So if you're turning these and it's going way out of spec between your quarter half turn, something's wrong. Okay, so that's it for that one. Now we're going to go to the DLK. The DLK, it's the same thing we've done. We're going to start with the stroke. I'm going to back it all the way off until it stops. And then I'm going to bring it back a couple clicks. And go ahead and take the stroke adjustment out. these in particular, um, the DLK specifically, if you go to loosen the uh, nozzle, sometimes the housing will loosen with it. So what you got to do is you've got to actually get a second tool. Uh, let's see, I believe that's a 14 or 15 there. The nozzle is 10, 10 millimeter, so we'll use a second tool to keep the armature housing tight and we'll just loosen the nozzle. So there's our nozzle and here's our armature. So reassemble, put the armature back, nozzle back, tighten it down. over, Put the stroke back, make sure nobody messed with it when we weren't looking. It's tight, bring it back into operational range. There's closed, there's quarter turn, there's half turn, put it in the middle. That's it on uh, setup, disassembly, and assembly.